Wow. <laughs> Look at all the people. This is... This is great. This is great. Look at all the tourists coming into our city. Welcome back, everybody. And here we are finally starting our brand new city, the pedestrian only city. You guys voted on this little odd shaped peninsula. I am so excited. And I don't know if the DLC is going to work exactly the way I think it will for this entire pedestrian city, but we're going to give it a go. And go through any issues together. So this lovely um, highway exit came with the map. You can see it goes underground and comes out and that actually lends itself perfectly to this pedestrian city. I want to use the elevated train station and also the brand new large metro station. So what I wanna do in this area is set up a city entrance to our pedestrian area. I'm going to use the landscaping tools and just make some room for us and do a tiny little bit of detailing before we get started. So I want to place the new elevated train station right in here, but we're going to have to do a little finagling with the roads to get it exactly where I want it, but totally doable. Little YouTube magic and we've got it in there. Basically was able to use move it to get it where I wanted it. Now I just want to create a nice smooth transition for our tracks. Okay, I think that turned out really nice. Um, lots of queuing distance there, so that's gonna work really well for us. Okay, now we can get in our new Metro that we got with the new DLC. I think it's such a cool looking building. And I love that we have this Metro track that has tracks going two ways. I think that is so cool. And it's much more compact than some of the other Metro options that we have that allow for multiple tracks. And look at this train station. I think both of these assets are so cool. I just had to find a way to incorporate them into our city entrance. Okay, I'm going to change these all to these small bushes. I think that's just gonna look really nice. And then I'm gonna go with the Young Lindens everywhere else. Okay, the thing that we're gonna need a lot of in this city entrance to our pedestrian city is parking. Because if you're coming into the city, you would theoretically leave your car here. <laughs> And if you were in the city and you were coming out, you would pick up your car here um, and or hopefully take public transit. We're going to have the metro and the train station. So I'm just going to play around with these different parking lots that, of course, are from Larry Skylines and just see what I can fit in. Okay, time to start detailing.
Okay, let's take a little break from detailing and get the train and metro all hooked up. So I'm going to grab our train stop here and we're gonna drag it all the way down to our new station. And then we'll go back in and make sure we've got stops on either side of the track. And it is time to add Metro to Mordelago. I think our tram and bus network is really good in this city and we've got, it's very walkable and bikeable as you guys know, but I don't think it would hurt to bring in a little Metro here and there. And this little space just happens to be open right in our downtown. You can walk to the tram uh, stop and you're right on the bike network here and this just fits in perfectly so now to figure out where we want to put the rest of our metro in the city i'm just noticing this should be closer so there can be a path connection there perfect Okay, now we're to add Metro into our existing city. So we've got the bus and tram hub right in here, and this is where the hospital complex is. I think this would be a good location to see if we could squeeze a Metro stop into. Okay, I think that actually works out perfectly. All right, next spot. I think we'll go about halfway down this new um, road we put in last time when we removed the highway. I think this would be a key location to have another metro stop. We've got our large green cities neighborhood on one side. We've got our fishing community on the other. We've got the bus and the tram, the bike network. So again, this is a prime location. Okay, now I think it would be beneficial to find a stop in between our original downtown stop and that um, train and our uh, metro, <laughs> the tram and bus hub. So maybe something near our roundabout here. I don't really wanna destroy those buildings. Oh, actually, right here, yes, we have these two. I never even detailed this area up. So we've got these two restrooms. We only need one, and we could use Move It and get a, a Metro stop right here. I think that would be perfect. And yes, things do look a little funny in different areas of the city because there's no surface painter. So hopefully that mod gets fix before the next time I record, but who knows? It's not the end of the world. Okay, let's hook these up. Okay, I wanna get in one more line coming down this way through the city. So this is our department of tourism down here and we've got the tram right here and a bus station. So a bus stop across the road. So again, that would be a good location. And then something in between, maybe on our main um, collector through this area. Perfect. Okay, let's hook these up. Okay, and I wanna come all the way down to the water. We've got our um, tourism and entertainment waterfront down here, which it just never has enough customers. So hopefully maybe by putting this Metro stop in here, that will solve this issue for good and allow people to easily get down to our waterfront. It's so pretty. And I just get so bummed out that there's just never enough visitors down there. So maybe this will help. Okay, that just made a ton of people extremely happy. Okay, let's get back to our city entrance. 
Okay, I've gone ahead and got all of our service point buildings in and some recycle centers. Um, and I've got this area set with the wall-to-wall -wall zoning. I just feel like this city entrance will kind of have that modern feel to it, which I am very excited about. I think it's just nice to have something in the game that just looks different and is new. So that's exciting. <laughs> All right, let me get back to detailing our city entrance and just making this place feel grand. Look at these offices. These just look so cool. They're just very unique. I love all the vibrant colors. I just think it makes everything fun. Okay, on this side I have our cargo service point buildings and then I just put in a little death care, uh, the fire department, and then this is the new police station. I think it looks so cool. And I'm just really obsessed with this new train station. I think the red glass is so pretty. Okay, let's get back to detailing. And I want to detail outside of our new ferry stop. So let's start listening. Let the rain wash away. The tears that keep crippling. Okay, some time has passed and I want to see how our metros are doing. So let's jump in and take a look at these. Yes, here we go. Let's sort by passengers here. And let's see how we are doing. Very popular line. I do think we could change this to a higher capacity. I believe this is the 200 one. Let's speed this up here and see. Yep. I think this is going to work great. Maybe we need three vehicles though instead of two. Let's just watch this for a second. Yep, let's go ahead and take this up to three, and I think that will work. Okay, next one. All right, same thing. I think we need to increase the capacity here. Let's take this up to three. And I think at three at the 150 will potentially work. Let's, let's give that some time. We can come back and check that out. Okay, this is just taking people back and forth from our new area, so I think we're fine to leave that. And this is an extra line I put in that goes directly from the train station to the metro. 
um, in our main city of Mordelago here. Um, let's take a look at our ferry. Just want to watch this for a minute. Okay, yes, I want to add one more ferry on. Okay. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the people. This is, this is great. This is great. Look at all the tourists coming into our city. Fantastic. Okay, let's check back in on this one because there was a whole lot of people going in there. My goodness. Okay, I think let's go to the 200 capacity train and then maybe we'll up this to two and that should cover us for a while. So that will work. Let's grab some first person views of what we built today. Well guys, um, I think we need a name for this entire pedestrian peninsula, so please um, drop a comment below and let me know what you think we should name this oddly shaped peninsula. I just want to say if you guys do enjoy the content on my channel and you're not subscribed, if you want to subscribe that would help me out a lot, also you can leave a like more importantly though is your comments and as we embark on creating this pedestrian only city and using the new dlc we're going to run into issues problems we're going to be exploring a lot of new things together i want and need your feedback i love your comments and i really want to build this peninsula with you so comment below with a name suggestion any other ideas that you have i'd love to implement them I hope you all have a joyful day and I'll catch you next time.